Hello everybody. In today's video, I'll be answering a viewer question on how to both diagnose and replace a PCV valve. And I'll be demonstrating this on my 2002 Acura TL Type S. Now the most common sign of a bad PCV valve includes excessive oil consumption or burning oil. And with that, some other signs may include excessive smoke coming from the exhaust, difficulty starting the engine, a rough idle, power loss or poor acceleration, and sometimes even a check engine light. So on Acuras and Hondas, sometimes it may be located right up in front here. However, in my car, it's actually located in the back. Here's the PCV tube, and right back there is where the valve is located. And to get to that, we simply just have to remove this plastic cover held in by four 10 millimeter screws. They come out very easy. And then we can take off this cover here, set that off to the side, now some PCV valves might need to be unscrewed, however this one just simply pops in and out. Here it is in the back of the engine. And all we're going to do is just pull it straight up and out. There we go. Sometimes it might be a little oily, that's natural because it's uh, right in the engine. And the simple way to test it is to shake it. Hear that little metallic ball in there, that little valve? That's what you want to hear. If you don't hear that at all, that means that valve is stuck and you should replace your PCV valve. To simply replace it, all you got to do is move this hose clamp back, take out the valve, put the new one in, and then push it back into the hole in the engine there. You wanna make sure that both surfaces are clean before you put it in, because if there isn't a proper seal, there's a chance that your engine might not start or have some similar problems because there isn't a proper seal. So we'll just put it back in. There we go. Now I'm not entirely sure what causes a PC valve to go bad. It could be a poor design, it could be simple old age, wear and tear, maybe too infrequent of oil changes and dirty oil is causing it to clog up. Uh, I can tell you that my PCV valve is still the original. It is 19 years old with 318,000 miles on it and as you just saw, it works just fine and I have none of the symptoms as mentioned at the beginning of the video. But nonetheless, if you do have a bad PCV valve, it's at least pretty easy to diagnose and the part is pretty cheap to replace. So let's go find those parts right now. So now we're gonna quickly buy those parts. We're gonna come to AcuraPartsForLess.com and we're gonna select our vehicle. I've got a 2002 TL Type S. We're gonna come down to engine and regardless of what Honda or Acura vehicle you've got, you'll find it either under breather tube or the cylinder head cover. Mine's under breather tube. And here it is at the back driver's side of the engine. There's our part. And while some come with two O-rings in their design, this one is a grommet design. So if you're purchasing and replacing these parts, make sure you add a grommet to your cart. If you try going the aftermarket route, I would recommend avoiding the PCV valves with a 90 degree bend in their design. It's a poor design because air turbulence does not like these sharp corners. And it's probably a good reason why a lot of these fail. Unfortunately, a lot of 80s, 90s, and early 2000s Hondas and Acuras did come with that 90 degree design. Not all of them. Some of them, like my car, came with a 45 degree angle design. But if you can help it, avoid that 90 degree angle. Here's another example of an aftermarket part from AutoZone. And as you can see, it's only $3. And do you really think you're going to get a quality part for $3? I don't think so. The one on my car is still the original with 318,000 miles on it. It's 19 years old, and as you saw in the video, it's still clicking and working great. It's not giving me any bad symptoms of wearing out anytime soon. And I would just highly recommend the OEM part always. Here is the new PCV valve that you can find in pretty much every single Honda and Acura vehicle from 2004 and up. You can see it comes with these two O-rings there. It's held in by a screw right there, and it looks like the tube connects right there. And this new tube design is really great because tubes do not have sharp corners and allows for the smoothest turbulent flow possible. 
Here's this one more picture. And you can find these usually in one of two locations. Here's a 2005 TL, I believe, located on the front passenger side of the engine. There it is, comes with the two O-rings. It does not come with the screw, but I would presume you can reuse that. This one costs $30, plus shipping. And here's a 2009 TL. You can see it's located horizontally on the top of the driver's side of the cylinder head cover. Again, comes with the two O-rings. There's the price, $30. Does not come with the screw. Again, I would presume you can reuse that. And I'm not sure what this collar is, but I'm sure it, it somehow incorporates uh, working with the screw and holding the PCV valve in. I would presume you can reuse that as well. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was shorter, but for such a small, cheap, and easy to replace part, it sure does make a pretty big difference in the performance and longevity of your engine. And the simple diagnosis is to shake it and listen for a rattle. So hopefully this video motivates you all to quickly check this part and keep your engine running strong for years to come. If you have any more questions, comments, or video ideas like this, feel free to drop a comment as I'm pretty good at getting back to people. So again, thanks for watching, have a great day, and take care.